Welcome to Good Mythical More. Ah, I'm not feeling great, but I'm glad to be here because it, it you know. It's all uphill. Excuse me. Ah, bug. Right stink bug still happening. I'm finding little pieces of stink bug uh, in my mouth as time goes on. Uh, I'm yeah. never happy. If you're watching this first, which uh, I get it, it's a different thing over here. It may, this may be more your taste. Yeah. Maybe you don't like stink bugs or spaghetti meatballs, but that's what we just did. I don't know where you've been, but I'm glad that you're here. But first, let's play what's the word. Uh, this word is aha ha. Aha ha. Aha ha. Yeah, there's even a space in it? Aha ha. I mean, that's two words. I think this is how Gen Xers indicate laughing in a text. <laughs> right. How could that be a how could that be a word? I still don't do LOL. I but I skipped over LOL. I moved from yeah, ha 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 to laughing crying emoji, which is also for olds now. Yeah. Olds yeah. only do that now. I say ha ha. So you just stuck with I might go back to ha ha. Uh, all the way back at the beginning. Because now uh, you're but supposed I think to this do a is skull. An actual word. Like, like I'm dead. Yeah, I like I like getting that. It feels good. I might I might I, I might could give that. I could give a skull. You I might go full skull. Aha ha! Though I think it's something totally unexpected. And aha place. was a band. This is when you laugh at old aha videos. I have no clue. I don't have a guess. Which is actually a fun thing to do. My stomach feels too weird on a Friday night. What is it? An Australian species of wasp. Aha ha! Aha ha! Australia, man, they got all the things that'll hurt I, you down I there. bet it's dangerous. I bet it's huge. Whew. I bet it'll get you. It's worth that coffee get and you, that brekkie, you, though. You. Hello, boys. Hello. Stevie, how do you indicate yeah, laughter Yeah, that, in so, okay. I, I was on the ha-ha train because mm. I do feel like it's, like, is the most genuine right. acknowledgement of comedy because... It's not slang. I, when really. you get an, I never was an LOL. I that was insincere. But the emoji thing is also feels weird. And then the other thing to add into all this is, you know, the iPhone ha ha reaction uh, that you can, you know, what? when you highlight over a, a iMessage or text. Oh, oh, yeah, you can, yeah, 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 and and you and, could do the ha ha instead of hitting a heart or an exclamation. Point. Yeah, but then you're in a group with people, and one of them is Android. Mm. And then all of a sudden, it says Link Neil laughed at this. And you, yeah, and you're and reading like, it again. Want... <laughs> so annoying. Don't do that. Yeah, it's it really. There's no right answer. Well, there is a right answer. Well, I don't like okay. that. Okay, kick the person with the Android out of the group. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah to that's, that. that's number. That's rule number one. For right. sure. Give us. You the know person. what? <laughs> Cassie accidentally added one of our friends. And my dad do a text message thread because our friend's name starts with an R E, as does my mom's name uh, this week. So that was an interesting. So it was meant for your mom and dad, but it went to a friend. So yeah, and it was something like, uh, you know, what do you what do you think about my ideas for the backyard? You know, would love would love to discuss because my dad had asked Cassie, you know, for for this area what her opinion was, and so all she of a sudden had messaged, your friend is being pulled into yeah. a conversation with your dad. Exactly, and then no one answered the text thread until two days later. So Cassie actually didn't realize she had done it until the friend was like, "Did you want to discuss your backyard?" <laughs> <laughs> and then my dad didn't say anything. I just thought that was awkward. Okay, you want to talk about pasta and states? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I wonder why your dad didn't say anything. I know, I'm gonna have to get into that. Yeah, give, give, he's give laying low. He's question. laying low. Uh, we're talking about spaghetti and meatballs first. Which state uh, has spaghetti and meatballs as the most popular dish of that? Jersey. State? I definitely think it's a high Italian uh, population place. So Jersey's a great guess. Thank you. Logically, that makes a lot of sense, but I'll tell you, none of the answer choices uh, have that. Okay. New Mexico. Are you going to give us choices? I'm getting some detail here from, from Carney on the side about this. Okay. The judges are deliberating. There's multiple states in which spaghetti and meatballs is the number one. 
Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Well, the second one, we'll get into it. Um, okay. So out of these options, which state is a, you know what I'm trying to say? Hawaii, Wyoming, Pennsylvania. I'm going to go with Pennsylvania just because it's the, you know, it, it touches Jersey. Hawaii, not Tri state Hawaii. area. Oh, is it Hawaii? We're going with Pennsylvania. Like the most popular dish in the state of no, Hawaii? No, the most popular pasta. Oh, pasta. Oh, Hawaii. Because now it's just like, okay, they're choosing, they're choosing a ubiquitous pasta. Well, it's Hawaii. Wow. What was your reasoning? Because. Now, Jersey is going to be, they're going to go with a more, they've moved on to a more specific pasta dish. Let's hear the next one. Um, Okay, I was just making sure. New Jersey is on here, and it's the grand finale. Uh, Squid ink pasta. There's a a grand finale to this movie. Yeah, (laughs) squid ink pasta is a popular pasta dish in multiple states. In which state is squid ink pasta not a favorite? New York? Maryland or New Hampshire. Wow, they're all up there in New England. They all have access to the water. New York, Maryland, or New 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 Hampshire? New Hampshire, yeah. I think New Hampshire is like, nah. Yeah, New Hampshire. Live free or don't eat squid ink. <laughs> yeah, it's New Hampshire. Yeah. Oh okay. Oh, you guys know a lot about You know, I'm in a text thread dishes. with some ladies from Utah. Some ladies? Oh, my fingers stink. Do your fingers stink? I didn't touch it. Did I? Oh yeah, you did. You did. How did I touch it? Just I, yeah, oh. I am in a pretty large text thread. Right after I got my new number a few years ago, uh, very early on, I was like, oh, I'm part of a text thread from some ladies in Utah. I just use context clues. They've gathered a couple of times for different things, a wedding. Do you still have it on there? Can you can you read some of it to us? Uh, or remember some of it? Or are you just I, I went for almost two years without getting any text until uh, a couple months ago. And I don't know if I deleted it. I got a, is this Karen's phone or whatever the woman's name is? I don't. I never respond to it because I like just being in the background. Oh, you got a direct text versus well, a group text. You had to say yes, or they're going to remove you. Uh, remove. Well, Karen hasn't been showing up at the events, so they've figured it out. Oh my God, poor Karen. Yeah, yeah, they're like, man, she's That's so fun, unresponsive. Though. Yeah, I would have been like, I'm not, but I love being in this just as like a bystander. Please, can, are you cool with that? Do you understand the groups of Utahian women who are watching this more? Oh, here it looking is. at their group threads, going, oh my gosh, is Rhett? Now, next to this me is here? this is not the group thread, uh, but this is hi he- hi Heather. Does this number still work for you? Um, what's a 714 area code? Because this might be just a Heather's friend. Orange County. Okay, Orange so County. so this is just somebody that Heather knows. Well, you could get in, in Orange, Orange County. Orange County ladies. But so uh, this wasn't the group thread. The group thread has been a while. I think they figured out that Heather was not ever going to respond. Why didn't you respond? Because it was fun. I mean, it was a direct question. You could have either said no or yes or. Were they going yes, to a but. soda shop? Uh, they, I mean, those ladies seem to have a lot of fun together. I almost met them one time. In Utah? Yeah, I was like, I was going to show up and be like, I'm not Heather, but um, I, I think I got Heather's, you're gonna get, Heather's number. I've been getting her text. And y'all seem like you're about to have a real good time together. That is the creepiest freaking thing in the whole <laughs> world. For Rhett to do to them or for yes. them to do to Rhett? For an, a strange man to show up. I'm not whatever. that strange. Well, I'm an internet guy. It depends on your definition of strange. Uh, I'm a hairy guy. Do you on think? The what do you think about the? Do you think I'm ethically wrong for not responding to someone asking if it's still somebody's number? Because I, I always think assume you that an opportunity. It's, I always think it's like, oh, you're fishing to see if this is a real number. No, like, I don't I'm think always, you should respond. I'm always suspicious of any any text from anybody that I don't know. If they and were I really never, friends with Heather, the they'd have her actual number. So, well, the thing that I've done before is I was trying to get in contact with someone from my address book that I hadn't talked to in years. Your address book? Yeah. My contact book. My black my it's little roll of decks. As long as it's a book. I mean, the icon is a book. Yeah, okay. Ha it ha had, ha. It had been a few years <laughs> and 
I texted, I can't remember why, but I was like, I was like, hey, asking the question, uh, this is Link. Is this still your number? And then the text I got back was, Link from Good Mythical Morning? And no, it wasn't, it was just someone else's number who knew me from the internet, so then I. That's why you can't be playing that game, man. Stay out like, of that book. I was like, oh, maybe I should. And you're like, no, no, it's not. Definitely, this isn't 100% not that guy. I don't remember what I said. What's I, that? I don't think I, yeah. Yeah, I was. I think I, I think I did play dumb because that was the best thing for me to do. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It's yeah. like, uh, and you're good at it. No, I don't know what you're talking about, or whatever. But yeah, <laughs> thank you. Okay, I didn't know this was a is, a I'm pasta asking. dish I'm per se. Uh, I guess if you put it on pasta, only one state has shrimp scampi as a favorite. Ooh, that's some good pasta. I like a shrimp scampi. I like I like shrimp. I'm a fan of shrimp in a meal. Which state do you think it is without options? Their favorite shrimp pasta. It could be Louisiana. That's not a bad guess. Could be Texas. I don't know. I definitely think a, a Gulf. It's a. It, it is a Gulf state. Uh, man, I might say Mississippi on this. Alabama. One. We're all down in there. Is it down? Okay, in there? here are your options: Louisiana, oh. Delaware, oh. or Florida. Ooh, well, Florida's got a lot of golf on it. I'm gonna go with Florida. Louisiana's I'm, a good I'm a, guess. I'm gonna but... stick with my gut, Louisiana. Delaware. Oh. Delaware, the state of shrimp. Yeah, man. Delaware's Delaware. got some ocean front, right? Yeah. There, there's a those <clears> states <throat> up there in the northeast, they'll find a way to touch the ocean. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It was like somebody was like, We gotta Weasel. find a we gotta find a way to the ocean. Weasel in their way. And you'd be like, oh, they got here too. I love that part of the world because you go through so many states so fast. You're like, oh, we well, just, you've oh, done okay. that. We just went through there and there and there. Yeah. Matter of fact, when uh, Rhett went on his trip with Locke from Maine down to Miami, he he told us all about it on Ear Biscuits. So we invite you to listen to our podcast if you want to hear about mm. like him going through states. I also stopped in Georgia because Georgia finds a way to the coast. A little that little piece Georgia of finds a way to touch North Carolina. And then still touch the coast. Mm. Georgia's doing this. It's like you playing Twister. <laughs> Georgia's doing that, and then South Carolina is like, eh, like, get off of me. Smushed. Yeah. South Carolina's like, I want more coast. I want pretty much all the coast. I remember getting excited about playing Twister with like our uh, mixed company of friends. Uh, like, is this like in the past five years or like in high school? <laughs> I'm talking about <laughs> high school. <laughs> because, yeah, don't you know, don't get me in trouble here. Because I proposed Twister for game night amongst our friends, and everybody was like, no, 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 no. What if you did that? That'd be hilarious. We haven't had our game night again, you know, and I'm thinking about what that first time is. You could do like, like starting with Twister. Shorts and shirtless Twister. And no, add some grease. No, you. I think you start with full clothes Twister. And then the later then it goes in the evening? See where, no, not no, in, in high all school, in one evening, just like... Each month you get a little bit, there's something else. I remember in high school, do you remember this? We did one time, I just have this memory, it's fuzzy, of us playing Twister with our, with our friends. Just as many girls as guys. It was, it was an enticing in, in endeavor. Well, whose house were we at? Probably Leslie's. You think we were at Leslie's house playing Twister? You know how her parents would just kind of check out. Yeah. Give them, give them Twister. Give them Twister. We're going on a date. The kids have Twister. <laughs> this will be a fuzzy memory at some point. Truffle um, pasta. You don't, you don't remember that? No. Surprisingly, I don't. Maybe it didn't happen. Step in here. Truffle pasta. <coughs> oh, I got a stink leg in my... <coughs> if you cough it up, it's going to stink again. Oh, gosh. That's exactly what it is. It's, oh, gosh. Just leave it in the lung, man. <laughs> it's a little piece of bug. Uh, Only one state has truffle pasta as a favorite. What is what? Okay, there it is. Um, this is a rich state. Texas. Nope. 
I think this is. Um, I think this is Northwest. You're going with Washington State. Mm. Uh, you know, what? I'm gonna go with Washington D.C. I'm 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 actually gonna say not even a state at all. I'm gonna say Oregon. Southwest. Washington. Yeah, it's Washington. Oh yeah. Um, it's a good state. Washington State, like a good truffle pasta. All right. Hit it again. Mo, can we switch it up? Can we do yeah. it another way? Let's switch it up. Oh, we're going to switch it up, and we're going to go right to North Carolina. North Kakalaki. What is the most popular pasta dish? Mac and cheese. Uh, I think I think I mean, it really, might have to be some Alfredo. I grew up. There's definitely more mac and cheese eaten than any other pasta in North Carolina. Is that Does that count? I mean, it's a side. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna say because like chicken marinara wouldn't count. That's not chicken marinara. Yeah. So I'm gonna what's say chicken what's chicken marinara? What? Am I am I thinking something that's you mean not chicken called? parmesan? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's just chicken with marinara. <laughs> well, you know, it's chicken with marinara sauce on it. I call it chicken marinara. <laughs> um, uh, chicken. Okay, chicken Alfredo is like. Getting as close as you can to mac and cheese, but being able to call it a the main thing. The thing that I ate was lasagna. <laughs> I'm gonna go with lasagna. Link, go with your gut. Chicken Alfredo. You didn't say chicken Alfredo first. Chicken marinara. No, I'm like. <laughs> chicken parm. It's fettuccine Alfredo. Fettuccine oh. Alfredo. Oh, yeah. That was the very the, first the, thing the I flat said. noodle. Um, that's North Carolina. All right. That's a good. That's a. You know what? Uh, that's a good pasta. But you know what? If somebody does a, uh, is it carbonara? If somebody does a carbonara, that's really like the well, brown whiny sauce, but it's not marsala. No, it's more creamy. It's creamy sauce, and there's like ham and peas. I would think you would love. I it. love it, but I and I love a marsala too. Uh, it's so good though, but it can be done wrong. Yep. But when it's done right, that whew. that you're right, Rhett. I like a good creamy gravy-ish pasta sauce. Like okay, we're moving over world. to your current home state, California. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What do they enjoy out here? Uh, angel hair lobster. A pasta dish. I mean, you're you're pretty close. Linguini. Crab linguini. The lobster part was correct. What? Yes. Lobster the angel, ravioli. No, it's a little you would you mentioned it earlier as in is this a pasta dish or a side? Lobster mac, mac and, and cheese. cheese. Yeah. And finally the grand finale. Oh, we, did, we did pretty good. New Jersey. The grand finale. We've made it. You've stuck around. Good old Jersey. They do penne. It's a red sauce. Oh my God, what? I'm right, right? Yeah. Okay. So, and the, what do they do on the penne? Uh, I'm saying a red sauce. Uh, vodka penne. That's a pink sauce. Did you nail it? You, you nailed it. Yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> Dang it, Jersey. Yeah, I just heard clapping for I that. I told you it was a grand finale. Hey, that's pretty good, man. I said Pasta it was good. and sauce just that's out of the, mean. I mean, wow. listen, uh, psychic stuff happening there, Stevie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Psychic yeah. stuff. Yeah. I mean, I said lobster. I thought that was pretty impressive. <laughs> it, was, it was, it was, it was, it was, you know, about, it was about half as impressive. <laughs> To get the Rhett and Link Sing Brooks and Dunn vinyl, join Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by June 30th. MythicalSociety.com for details.